Guys, and welcome back in. Today, we're going to be spawning in as Legion. As you guys can see, we've got a really bad map. We have Corrupted Dimension. The survivors did play double blood points as well. That's going to be okay. Knowing that I've got one side of the map sealed now, I want to be able to get as many people injured as I can at the beginning of the trial. Corrupted Dimension is going to help me, allow me to funnel through the center. I'm paying attention to the crow spawns and movement, and it appears no one actually spawned in that corner because the corner crow was still available as well. I'm going to come right through here. It was very close to the killer, but sometimes you can get lucky with that. I'm guessing we're going to have multiple people through the middle of the map as well, so I'm going to have to go through the center. I'm going to hopefully be able to get one or two applies of pressure through my uh, feral frenzy and then we'll move back off what information is provided through there i don't see any crows i don't see anything disturbed i'm going to just cut through the center here and keep turning around there's a floor out waiting in the corner that's good that's five percent movement speed where is bachelorette number two there we go this will also enhance my lunge and my movement speed through uh through my ability i'm going to cancel it and just walk into it try and get a free pallet out of the way hopefully somebody comes in for a body block she's kind of out of position keeping in mind this does affect my lunge range as well allow me to lunge an incredible distance because I have Play With Your Food and Nemesis as well if they want to use things against me. Pick her up, hook her, go right through the board. The sooner she's saved, the better off I'm going to be. I don't have any stacks, but that is okay. Somebody's going to have to wait around, whether it's the Dwight or the other player. Do, am I going to look for them? No, I'm going to go right through the board. I don't want to be on this side of the map. I have no reason to be here. Hide my light a little bit, twist around the corner. See scratches not coming out. They went through. That's good. All right, let's just get a little bit of regression and then let's go through the middle. They should be getting saved really soon, but I do need to keep in mind my gen placement. Scratch is over here, fading. One player to the right, one player to the left. That means I've got three players accounted for. One person, Maya, and the guy on the hook. I'm going to come in. I'm going to activate my ability. The more I hit, the better off I'm going to be. That's good. I'm going to let the generator in the middle of the map go for all that pressure. That's good. Now I'm going to go right back to the hook and I'm going to look for a trade. In fact, I'm going to take a free hit on a white, making a really bad play. That's a trade. I'll take it. I lose one gen out of it. Jen's in the middle of the map. It sucks, but at the same time, look at the pressure I have on every target right now. It's okay. It's not a good map for me, too. I'm gonna go right back to the hook like I said I was going to. Somebody needs to be hook saving now or they're gonna hit struggle. There we go. So we're gonna go right through. The other player still has to mend as well based on the fact they're currently running. They are still holding shift, so they might be able to do a run save before they actually mend. Coming around to the right, trying to hide my light. There you go. There's gonna be our Jeff. Gonna be caught. We're gonna hook him in the corner here, too. We're gonna go right through the center of the board yet again. Or I could funnel him down to the right hand side and get him closer. There's no hooks that benefit me here. So so we're going to hook him in the corner again and keep that pressure throughout the map. They have all mended. That guy in the middle is going to be getting saved. That's good. One person, Maya. I don't have any form of stability on the gens, but I don't need it as well. Remember, I do have surge, but I won't have surveillance. So I need to track through movement and understanding of the map. I cannot afford them stacking, grouping, healing, and then splitting. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to keep going through the map. Somebody here. Somebody healed. Did you get in that locker and heal? No, I see scratches around here. They went to the opposite side being the left-hand side. I'm going to activate my ability to close the gap. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch anyone here. Remember, scratches will disappear when I activate it. I do see a Dwight running too. Going to lunge for a little bit more distance at the end. There goes my Dwight. Sounds like we got people stacking on this gen. How Dwight reacted means I'm guessing other people are going to react too. Oh, looks like we got some greed here. Remember, if he pallet stuns me, that's really good. Sidestep at the last second, getting M1 in his back, wasn't paying attention, gonna get a surge regression on that too. That's gonna be Dwight hooked. Other two people are unaccounted for, but one person did hook save that guy. Therefore, I think worst case scenario, I'm losing one gen. Please walk in the way and take a hit. That's gonna be 5% movement speed as well that I can apply. Allow me to move at 120% now across the board if I need to. Is she gonna be playing pallet? She is, nice. I'm gonna take a three M1 in the back. If she runs for the save, I'll just make sure it's a trade gonna go round rather than anything that's a perfect play for me i would activate my ability if i can he's sprint bursting away he has no intention of coming back with that flashlight let's get him on the hook he never hit the generator either so the gen should still be regressing through uh, surge and let's go through the center of the board think of how many hook trades i just did get a valuable pallet out of the way i can activate my ability to get around the board and that is exactly what i'm going to do right now allowing me to move at a much quicker rate through the center of the map jenny's nearly done as well i can't stop it because i'm in my ability but what i can do is get a free hit never mind looks like nobody is on it we're going to do that and that's going to cancel me out of my ability i reckon somebody's gonna step the window that is a negative on the window play as well somebody went in for the save i don't know where you move to but really good movement on your behalf another player's gonna be saved another player's gonna be another gen is gonna be completed this is very bad for me that is gonna be a clawed out i don't want to tunnel her off hook but i will take it down on one of you guys guess what you have sprint burst i know you can't dead hard me that's gonna be giving surge over there to the right i know this other guy is in a really sticky spot and i get five percent movement speed out of the other guy too if he runs in and completes his gen i'm in trouble so i'm gonna come all the way over here and i'm gonna try and stop him from completing the gen and apply pressure I can hear the gen, I can hear the crow being disturbed to my left, so he went all the way through as well. Gonna hide my light and twist around. Crying, running to the middle of the map, Jeff. I could have tried to eliminate a player then, gonna wait in between the pallet, hide my light, twist, he's coming out through the round. Nice, hide my light. Remember, I do have additional movement speed that he is unaware of, but he might have dead hard here. He's looking a really confident with his movement. 
There's his dead hard. There's his pallet. And there's my M1 in the back. All because I knew I had the movement speed I could use. I got him down. Dwight's got picked up. I am going to be able to be in a bit of a sticky situation. I couldn't wait any longer for the surge on the generator that I did want to regress then. I need to make sure I get across and I stop that. They're group healing, which is good. I can get regression on that gen. Hook them close towards where these guys are. So they come in for an early save and get regression. It's be very important for me for my success. Do keep in mind the map is not favoring me at all. I could have tunneled and killed Dwight then if I wanted to. But I still want him to have a valid, you know... A valid fun game. Cut through, twist. I reckon somebody's walking past here. I'm going to cut right back around. I think if they're stacking on that, I'm in trouble. Just want to come all the way through. I will activate my ability if I need to, but I don't really want to at the same time. I want to check on this to see if anyone's tapped it. Looks like no one's tapped it. I'm going to cut through, check on this gen, and we're going to hopefully be able to make a play for that guy on the hook or a trade. I'm kind of moving away pretty far. Gen hasn't even been started. The gen a little bit further away could be being worked on. That's fine. Gonna come in. I'm gonna chase him. I know he's gonna tap his generator because he's got the pallet to his right. No BT and he gives me surge on the generator as well. If he has DS, I'm in trouble. Let's go check on this now that I got surge regression on that. Jenny's fine as well. Could force him into struggle. Means the other guys are all the way across the board working on that gen or unaccounted for. I heard a crow being disturbed to my left then. That's me probably. Oh, never mind. That's gonna be my ability right now. She does have spread burst, but I do too. Because I'm Legion, cutie. Let's get that M1 in the back. Where are we? What are we looking at? One of the gen over here. Oh, a little bit out of range there, ladies and gentlemen. If I had any stacks to play with your food, I would have been able to reach that. But unfortunately, I did not have any, not even a single stack. Dwight, you got my attention? No, Dwight, not going to work. And you're exhausted too. Take an M1. The other Claudette will come running back in for a generator. We'll take a hit on Claudette too. Where'd you go, sweetheart? Yep. Couldn't have got far, darling. Read it like a book. I don't want to regress it because I have Surge, but at the same time, I don't want Dwight coming in and tapping it at the last second. She's camping the pallet. Unfortunately, even with aim assist, I miss because I'm an absolute banana. But she has ran as well, which is bad. I could have got that hit. She was late on her response. But I made a bad play too. We'll be losing the Jenny in the center of the map. Not going to lunge for it. Not worth the risk. I know she's exhausted too. Let's go for a grab. Not going to get a grab as well. Got Surge in the middle. They could stack and complete that. Going to pick Claudette up. Hooker. Got to be mindful of these gens, right? Hear a man crying behind me too. It's going to be a Dwight with a flashlight. He's very, da he's very dangerous because he is exhausted. And he is on death hook. And he's in a bad area too. Bloodspot. Didn't actually see her. That's 5% movement speed and a new obsession. My last obsession is now dead. I'm going to go back and I'm going to regress that generator. I could check on the other gen, but I want to go to the middle of the map near the library. I think that would be a very good idea. I think I'm going to lose this gen to Jeff any second now, because survivors always come back. Looks like Jeff isn't here. I'm going to play to one side of the map more than the rest. I don't want to waste my time coming over here, but if I get a down on a player that's eliminated, that'd be phenomenal. Just like that, does have sprint burst, has a pallet as well. Going to get the grab on him, because he made a bad play. That's really bad, because I actually wanted to get surge on him. Because I know the other girl's going to run for her generator in the corner of the map that she can complete. I, I should be able to see her over here, but I didn't get enough regression because I never downed her with Surge. And this Jenny should be completed any second now. So let's come in. Let's stop her from doing it. Oh, she didn't actually come back in. We had a good understanding of how she should have been moving, but she didn't. The good news is I still have a stack of play with your food. Better news is I have two dead players. I'm on a very bad map for the killer that I'm currently playing. I got time to break a pallet. Got time for regression on a generator. And I'm still in a really comfortable situation right now. Let's get the regression here. Let's check on the gen on the far right. And then let's go back into the library. I have a good gut feeling I'm going to catch that other girl on that generator over there. Survivors like bees, they always come back too. They're grouping, stacking, healing. Because none of them have healed themselves until this point in time. That gives me time to have full stability on my generators. Knowing that these guys cannot heal unless they've gone to the basement and plundered something. I have time to check the basement, but at the same time... Look what they've done. They've given me a very strong one side of the map. The issue now is the hatch has spawned, but I don't know where it is. The best play I can do is get multiple stacks of play with your food. Injure somebody that doesn't have iron will. I'm just going to keep rotating between these. There you go. Welcome back, sweetie. Why don't you tap it? Going to go for a lunch in on her. Down she goes. Not going to worry about anything else. Could have got the stacks out of it. Let's cut right through the middle. Crow respawned just then. I did see it. I don't know if it was from Jeff or the other girl. Remember, it's 15 seconds on a crow. Trying to cut through where I think he would have moved to. Would probably play a pallet, wouldn't he? I mean, that's what I would kind of do in this kind of situation. Now, the good news is she slugged. The other guy has the opportunity to complete a gen or pick her up or look for the hatch. Now, what am I going to do? I'm going to let all these gens get w regressed. Then I'm going to pick up the slug. Crow disturbed. Good. <laughs> Jeff made a bad play greeting. Now we know where the hatch is too. I would have let him pallet stun me as well. Now I can play off this too. He's probably going to just run one entire lap of this because he sees the hatch. I'm fine with that. Not going to be able to make it to him. 
I am going to let him pallet stun me. That's going to give me 5% movement speed, and I'm going to chase him. Now, the thing here is I'm going to chase him while moonwalking. Never mind, I already got a stack of play with your food. I know where the hatch is. You're running in to get your teammate up, which is good, meaning I need to take a trade on you or your teammate. Your teammate has sprint burst, you don't. Bad movement by Jeff. Going to be able to catch him off this incredible lunge that we're about to have. Show me the dead hard you've got. Let's see it. There it is. And down goes Jeff. All that was was outweighting it. I never got to show you guys how much it actually benefits you as well, being able to see how much further you can lunge with a stack of play with your food. It really does help on maps that have shacks, etc. You can catch some really good players with it and catch other players off guard. Not going to look for the other one. I know where the hatch is. Now, I have one of two plays I can currently do. It's a Megan, so chances of adrenaline are excruciatingly high. Therefore, if I close this hatch right now, she can get the hatch, or she can even adrenaline and play toward two doors that are on the opposite end of the map. Alternatively, I have a special rule, and that is if you are the last survivor alive and I find you and I know where the hatch is, I will give you the hatch. That's generally the rule. The rule is while I'm carrying you to a hook, if we can hear the hatch, you can have the hatch. I hear a crying from a lady, and you want to know something in hindsight of good sportsmanship, I'm more than happy to give this lady the hatch. We're going to take her over there. I think she's going to wiggle, not knowing that I'm going to give it to her, but that is A-OK. -okay. Anyways, guys, GG's well played. If you're watching this one over at YouTube, this has been an informative educational game of Legion and how to be able to use Nemesis and play with your food. Unfortunately, I didn't capitalize off of it too much this map, but hopefully in one of the future videos, I'll be able to show you how powerful this build really can be. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Every subscription does help the channel as well grow. That also being said, if you want to learn a little bit more about DVD, pop in the live streams where I stream educational, informative, dead by daylight, killer, killer content, and survivor content five days a week over at Twitch. Anyways, guys, that's going to be all from me. If you think you know everything about DVD, you can help me teach you with it. Don't. Anyways, guys, have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the fog in the next trial.